Welcome back to this playlist. In this video, we are going to see more tricky C programming MCQs, which are very helpful to improve your logical skills on a C and also helpful in placement test series. So let's start. Moving to the first questions, friends try to solve this question first. These are the options. I have already opened online GDB compiler, so I am going to solve this question. Let's see what is the output of this MCQ. You can see the output is a high and zero. So C programming execute step by step, you already know. So first is an integer i variable and second step if condition is there. In that if conditions, assignment operator higher priority so i become zero first then it's uh, look like if in bracket zero two three if there are mul multiple variables are there so always it's uh, take a last value okay so now become if three in if condition it's non zero value so it become true so it will print high okay else part not executed then printf i is there so i already become here zero so it will print zero okay and here if i put zero so as i told earlier in if condition there are multiple variables are there multiple integer value are there so it will take always last so here zero is uh, going to be false if become zero so it is going to be executed this else part so now see you can see output is by zero okay So, output is a high zero for this question. So, moving to the next questions, see the code and try to solve. These are the options. So, I am going to solve this question. Let's see what's output. See, output is a comma. Here you can see if condition is there. In that if conditions, printf function is there. So first printf function execute, then it will check condition of if. Okay. So 59 ASCII value comma. So it will print comma. Then if condition check, it is if it is non-zero value, then it condition true. Then if it is zero value, then it become false so if you see here i put a printf function condition true then printf condition false okay okay so if i put here 48 48 ascii value 48 ascii value 0 so let's see what is the output here 0 see here i put slash n so it's more readable see 0 0 here first print then it will condition become true why condition become true so you need to remember one point here printf function always written one it means if become non zero value wherever you see printf function in condition so it will return always always one so if uh, understand this is a non zero value so it will print uh, uh, always true condition okay whether inside printf uh, written zero but it will take always non zero value if condition okay it is very important point here to noted 
okay if here i put zero now if condition understand it is a zero value so obviously it will executed else part see condition false okay so i hope you you got it my point so here output is comma next okay. question friends try to solve this question first these are the options see the output of this question compiler give warning but output also is there garbage value okay you can see garbage value it will print again and again see with warning again i am going to run again new value come okay so compiler print garbage value with warning so here you need to understand one point compiler is our boss okay so boss will understand that one argument missing so it's give warning but not an error okay here percentage d our format specifier so compiler boss uh, understand okay there is one argument missing but it's not an error so it will print always the that value that is present on the top of the stack okay so output is a garbage value with warning next questions which is the reference operator so friends see the mcqs and let me know what is the answer so here you can see m percent okay one sign multiplication sign or you can say pointer also here negation of that variable and uh, also there is a toggling sign so output is obviously m percent so m percent is used to store address of the variable in pointer as well as in a scan function okay here i give one example also see here pointer taking that address of that a variable okay so i points to that address of a variable so this is called m percent is a reference operator okay next question which is the dereference operator these are the options so output is b so m percent you already know this is called reference operator which is used as a address specifier here is this is a pointer sign okay this is called dereference operator here also uh, tilde sign is there negation and toggling also is there also you can uh, use bitwise operator okay so answer is our b and this is also called as a indirection operator okay and this is used to retrieve the value stored at a memory location okay so i already told you this sign multiplication sign used for pointer thank you so much friends for watching this video and i hope this type of mcqs are very helpful to you understand c code in depth and if you have any doubt then please guys feel free to ask me in comment sections bye bye see you in the next video with new c mcqs